Yeah. To start. Yeah. So the main idea is that I will be cooking a dish while Elio Fumo, the best athlete from Portugal, from Congress Sport, will be trying to do the same. Uh, as everybody gets online and registered, the more socks we can deliver to the hospitals. So in a time like this, everybody knows that it's important to help. And Compress Sport is trying also to help in a way that they can get better the lives of everybody that is in the front line of the hospitals. So this was a funny day, a day to relax and a day to be with Compress Sport and as me, as a cook, and Elio, as a runner, I will be trying to teach Elio how to do one of the best Portuguese ingredients, that is cod. Cod is our national ingredient in Portugal. Perfect. So... I think it's like... Yeah. So the main idea is we'll be cooking with cod, that is our national ingredient from Portugal. This is the uh, mojito, c'est le mojito salé, uh, le cabillo. Uh, the thing that we do it in Portugal, we'll put salt on it and we will preserve it for several months. And uh, it's the way we'll. Uh, it was the way we conquered the world and we beat everybody around the world was by this fish because this fish was actually the food that all our sailors had to eat when they were traveling. So the same thing we do it in pork and in cod. In pork, in pork, in meat, we put salt and we make the, the portraits, ham and all the things that you guys know. And this is the pork from the ocean, the cabillo, the morue salé. And what we do it is we preserve that in uh, uh, salt. So Elio, are you watching me or not? Hey, Elio. Elio? Are you online, Elio? Elio foi me enviou um pedido para participar do teu vídeo. Agora dá para Elio fumo. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. Elio, are you alive? I'm alive. I had some problems. This is like in the running times. You guys know that sometimes we go down and sometimes we reborn and we keep alive. <laughs> That's the, the, the way that Elio does in all his running. He never gives up. He can lose, but he never gives up. So, as I was saying before, we have some codfish. Okay, the morue, the cabillo, the cabillo salé. And what we are going to do first, we'll cook this. Just very simple. Boiling water, doesn't need salt, doesn't need anything. I'm just going to put the morue. Can you follow, Elio? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's not very difficult, okay? It's just putting the codfish cooking. Easy, man. You can do that. Elio, now you need a good knife, okay? Okay. Do you have a good knife? Yeah, sorry, I have a good knife. How many times do I have to put this in the uh, boiling? What? How many times are we gonna have to cook the, um, the codfish? Don't worry. Keep on me and we'll let them cook in like for like 10 or, or 15 minutes, okay? We oh, have yeah. enough to prepare the other things. Oh, Sharp yes. your knife, Elio. Yeah. Do you have your knife sharp? Yeah. yeah. Totally sharp? Totally. Okay, let's get some onions. As I was saying before, we have the codfish. That is our national ingredient. And then you have some onions and garlic. Onions and garlic are one of the most uh, basis of our Portuguese cuisine. So the first thing we'll do is come on here. Okay, so we will take out the skin from the onion. Okay. 
Helio, are you working well or not? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. Okay, take out the skin. So I'm using four onions here. Guys, if you are in France and you don't have mohu, you can use other fish, okay? The best way to do it is you can put the fish, doesn't matter which fish you have, just put the fish in salt and keep it in salt for like one hour and then wash it and then put it cooking, okay? And you can use the same recipe with other fish. Okay, it doesn't need the... Okay, let's put it here. Okay. Kiko, you know, Kiko. I'm listening, Helio. I start, I start before, uh, before of you. I, I did a little bit of um, mess and plus. Uh, so I have some onion cut it yet, but uh, I will cut another one because you are saying that uh, you're going to use four. Helio, that's the same thing you do in the runnings. You start before the other guys. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> That's why you always beat me, because you start first? No way! Really? I don't know if I will ever trust on you, okay? No, no, I have to, I have to start before you, because you are faster in kitchen, uh, much faster than me, so... Doing mise en place first? Okay, yeah. okay. So the next run we'll do, I will start first. But I think... To beat you, honestly, I will have to start like one hour first. No oh, way. Okay, so. But you can show if you want. Let's use four onions. Come on here. Okay, our cut fish is cooking. Elio, one, uh, one other thing. Did you also take out the garlic? Uh, yeah. You have it, yeah? This one? Show me. Ah! You are shitting on me, yeah? And, and I have also another thing to show you, okay? What? I always have garlic ready. <laughs> so, here. I have a lot of garlic ready for you, okay? So we have to cut the garlic? Okay, nice sharp. Let's start chopping on it. <laughs> Slowly, man. You are first in me, so let's start chopping onions fast, okay? Come on, man. You cut my, my fingers. Come on, Elio. Faster, you can do it. <laughs> Elio, I'm just finishing. Okay, I have four onions chopped. Wow. Okay, cool? Cool. So I have like three garlics over here. Okay. The most important thing about the garlic, you have to open the garlic in the middle, okay? Why? And take the thing from inside. Why do we have to do that? Because, look at me, I will, I will explain you. If you don't take the thing from inside, doesn't matter how beautiful you are, you will never kiss tonight. <laughs> okay? So, this is the thing that your wife says that, Elio, take a shower, please. <laughs> Elio, wash your teeth, please. Okay? Okay. You have to take this thing. Okay. Doesn't matter. You can eat one kilo of garlic without this, and you can be a free man every night. Okay? But if you eat just a little bit of the germ, that is inside, no kissing, man. It's okay. up to you. You do whatever you want to do, man. Okay? This one? This one? Exactly. Take out that, please. Okay? Open. Okay, man. And then shop like this, okay?
Garlic. Garlic cool? Yeah. Okay, so you have a frying pan? Let's yeah. Turn the frying pan on. With the olive oil? Olive oil, my friend. Always olive oil. Um, olive oil from Portugal? Okay. High heat? Okay, if you guys want to know the quantity of olive oil, I will more or less put just like three big spoons of soup, okay? But the main idea is that the olive oil will give not only the fatness for the garlic and the onions to cook, but a little bit of the Portuguese flavor. Every cuisine in Portugal, doesn't matter if we are cooking meat, fish, rice, vegetables, we always start by this, olive oil and then Garlic, onions, okay. Everything? Everything inside. Come on, Elio. Okay, do it. Guys, don't forget, register online in Compress Store and more stocks will go to the hospital in France, okay? Okay, this is my recipe. This is the recipe from my mother. It used to call like the, the recipe uh, or the cog from my super, like the superhero. And the super grandmother or the super mother. My, my kids, they say that it is the cog from the super mother, uh, the super grandmother. The funny thing about this is that we are actually cooking a Portuguese recipe, but we will use something very typical in French that the uh, French people invented called le bechamel. Okay, so at the time that the cog is cooking and the onions are cooking, we are going to start making the bechamel. What we okay, so the onions are cooking. I can put a little bit of oregano in the in the onion. Elio, how are you feeling? Are you good? Okay, okay, just a little bit of the oregano. Too much, man. Okay, the onions are cooking. Are your onions cooking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how high? Uh, the, the heat? Too high or too low or something like that? Just to cooking. It can start high. So it gets okay. a big punch, like you start in the runnings, you always start yeah. right, high, and then you slow down a little bit, okay? But you know that if you start very, very high in the, in the race, it's going to be a big problem at the end. Yeah, but, but don't start too high, okay? Start ah, okay. High. okay. So you are, or your opponents see that you are strong. Okay. And then, at you and then they see a big man, and then they see, okay, this guy is strong, but you have to show them that you are strong. Okay, perfect. So you show that you, you are strong and then you got slow down a little bit, okay? Okay. So let me put this a little bit low, okay? Then you can put a little bit of salt also. Okay. Don't to put too much. Okay, you can use some chopsticks. I like to cook with chopsticks. Really? Yeah. Makes me relax. Yeah. You know that in Mozambique we use a little, a, a, a lot of this to cook. Can you see? Uh, this is a good spoon, yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows which size we have. My spoon is like this. Don't 
worry. I have everything. Kiko. Yeah, Kiko. Are you okay? My codfish is boiling. Your codfish is boiling? Okay, so oh, yeah. perfect. So slow down the, 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 the codfish. Okay. Put it the minimum. Minimum. Okay. Turn it off. You can turn it off, the codfish, and then okay. do something. Close it. Okay. Okay. So the time, no, no fire here. You can see here, there is no fire. Okay, no fire here. Okay, it's off. Okay, I'll put it here. No fire. But the water is hot. So it will keep on cooking inside the crawfish, okay? Okay. Are you ready to start doing the bechamel? Yeah, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so your audience just started. So let's put just a little bit, like the minimum temperature. Look at this, very, very low. Yeah. And I'll put the onions here now. Okay. I have, have a, I have a problem in my kitchen because I have to walk around between the, the balcony and the, and the oven. Can you repeat? Sorry, I didn't get you. I'm always saying that I have to walk in between the balcony and the oven because they are separated. Okay, perfect. Seems like a good strategy to win the race. <laughs> okay, so the onions are keep on cooking. Yeah. The only thing you need to do a bechamel is actually something like this. Okay? So you have the pan. Are you okay, Aldo? Yeah, the smallest one, this is, this is okay. I have a smallest pan. Yeah, it's cool, your pen, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. It's good pen. So next one. Good pen. <laughs> okay, so onions. Be careful with the onions. Okay. So first thing, butter, okay, here, like a good amount of butter. Okay, butter? Butter, butter. Okay. Like here. Huh? Yeah. Après? Butter. So what we are going to do here, yeah. we're going to do a roux. Uh, uh, français, it's called les roux. It's la, la, la mélange de la, les beurre avec la farine. Okay, so we have the butter. Okay, let, let the butter melt. Is your butter melting already or no? Yeah. A little bit slowly, but okay. Here we go. Okay, so when your, your butter is melted... I just have one question. Yeah? Do you know if uh, Sylvain is cooking the same recipe as we are? <laughs> Imagine. I hope he's cooking. It's gonna be crazy. I hope, I hope so, yeah, I hope so, yeah. Okay, so the butter is melted. Okay. Okay, so I will add some flour. Okay. All, all the flour at the, at the same time? You will put all the flour at the same time. I'm not measuring, but I know what I want. I want a mixture that is a little bit thick, you know? So I'll put the flour and mix with the butter. Okay. Okay, so this has to cook. The flour has to cook. 
Otherwise, it doesn't cook now. It's not going to cook with the milk. It has to cook only with the butter. Okay, the heat is coming down and it's cooking the flour with the butter. Don't forget about the onions. No, 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 no. Okay. Guys, for you that join us right now, what I'm cooking here is a recipe from my mother. I'm doing the codfish in the Portuguese style. So the first thing I did was to put the codfish cooking in water. Nothing else, just the codfish. It cooked for like five minutes with a hot water and then I turned off the, the fire and then I put the lid and then it is resting here and we'll finish in cooking. At the same time, I put like four onions here and it was cooking with some, a little bit of garlic and some olive oil. To do an homenage pour les Français, I'm doing also a bechamel, okay? I'm putting a little bit of butter and then I add the flour and then I'm starting the first part of the bechamel, that it's the roux. Okay, Elio, are you with me again or no? Yeah, 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 but I guess I have problems with my, my bechamel. Maybe I need a little bit more of, um, of butter. Let me just put a little bit. Let me see what you have. Pico. Yeah, put a little bit more butter. Okay. Not easy, not easy. Okay, Elio. Right. Now I'm going to start adding milk, and at the, at the same time, I'm going to start mixing. Okay, with the milk? With the milk. And how many, how many of milk? The quantities? Yeah. You go, look at here. If you want to talk about quantities, you Google, Google, and you will appear like several recipes of bechamel. Okay. But honestly, you can go like 30 grams of flour, 30 grams of butter, and half a kilo, half a liter of milk. But the more important is to understand how to do it. And then you can do it by yourself. You, man, you, mel you, you let the butter melt, add the flour, the flour cooks for like four or five minutes, and then you start adding the milk and mixing. Don't add too much milk, okay? Okay. And the way you are mixing, you can turn off, you can turn on the light a little bit higher. Now I'm working very okay. hard with the, with the stove very, very high. Show me what you are doing. Let me see. A big mess. Okay, put more butter. Put more. Put more. Put more milk. Sorry. Look at my what is doing. Okay. Okay. The sauce is getting thickening. It's thickening. OK. 
Okay, more milk. Okay, let me show you with the spoon. Okay, the bechamel. Okay, okay. Do you get that? <laughs> but I guess mine is different. It's a little bit thick. Same, same, but different, like Indian style. <laughs> same, same, but different. <laughs> You have to put more milk in your bechamel. Okay? What do you think about this? Show me. More milk, more milk. More milk? Okay. I know you like milk. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Elio, you, you have the onions, you have the bechamel, more or less cooked, okay? Okay. Kiko, more milk? Let me see, how is your bechamel? More milk, more milk, more milk, too thick, too thick your bechamel. And your onions need to cook a little bit more. Okay. It's good, it's getting good, it's getting better. Elio? Yeah. Okay, so let me see your bechamel. Let's see if we can go ahead with the recipe. What do you think? It's okay? A little bit more. It, it has to be a little bit lighter. It's good, it's good, it's getting good. How is the onion? Show me the onions. Okay, good. So, let's finish the bechamel. Okay. So, the French, they have the bechamel and then they have the morne. So, to make the morne, you have to put some egg yolk inside the bechamel. So, okay. put it here. It's just the egg from the, it's the egg yolk, okay? I'm opening from inside. Just the egg? The white just... part. Okay. And I'm going to put right here, one. And then, the second one. Okay, you can use your hands. It's nice to cook with your hands. Okay, and then put it here. Okay, mix. Okay. And now I'm going to add some Parmesan. If you are in France, and you add some uh, Comté or Gruyère or uh, any other cheese, but Parmesan is a good cheese, okay? 
So this will give more flavor to the bechamel, or the mogne in this case. I will I will use a uh, goat cheese. You can use whatever you want, my friend. It's up to okay. you. I'm not <laughs> going to eat your recipe. We are in quarantine. <laughs> Okay, don't forget one thing. Normally, a lot of cheese have salt. So I didn't put any salt on it. I'm just going to try now to see how salt I need. Okay, cheese. Mixing. The egg yolk and the cheese. So it's going to get more creamy. Okay, it's beautiful. Let the cheese melt with the milk and the flour and the butter and the egg yolk. So it's like really thick, but light, creamy, yummy. Do you think it's okay, Kiko? Show me. Looks beautiful. Okay. Elio. Yeah? I know that you are on a, on a diet, but you have to try the bechamel. Okay. Okay, let's try. Maybe, maybe I need a little bit of salt. Yeah, a little bit of salt. Okay, salt. Okay, let's turn it off. So, bechamel done, onions done. So let's go back to the cut. So I'm putting here a tray. Taking out of the cut. should go very easily. Okay, take out the skins and it should be very delicate and very easy to take out the cut. Okay. Elio, Elio. I'm always finishing. I'm always on the finishing line. How are you? <laughs> in the middle of the race, man. <laughs> Do you need some water? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you, need, do you need some gel? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of salt. Okay, so give, put some salt, my friend. <laughs> Okay, so be careful with all the bones from the fish, or the, the, how do you call it, the spines from the fish. Okay, it doesn't need the skin, but if it gets a little bit of the, a little bit of the skin from the cod, no worries, it's very delicious, okay? Okay, so this is the, one of the most delicious things that we have in Portugal. If you put a piece like this with some olive oil like this, this is the best thing we have in Portugal. And if you add a little bit of onions, oh, that's amazing. Okay, but let's keep on doing the recipe. So take out the skins. 
and all the spines from the fish. Kiko, I'm done, eh? I'm finished. You finished? Yeah. So you finished what? Your bechamel or your onions? No. no. <laughs> My codfish. Okay, perfect. Show me. Looks beautiful. What do we need now? So now we have the codfish, okay? Yeah. And let's add the onions, okay? So put the codfish in a tray, in a big tray that, can, that you can put in the oven, okay, Elio? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the codfish. This is okay? Tell me. That looks beautiful, man. Really. Okay, okay so the codfish. Now I'm going to add all the onions. Okay, I'm mixing the onions with the cod, okay? And now, I don't know if you guys have a potato like this. I bought this in the supermarket. It's like, a, like the size of a hair. It's very thin and it's very crunchy, okay? So I'm going to add some potatoes. Okay, going to mix. Elio, are you are you are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Not dead yet. Not dead, man. Okay, so we have the bechamel. Keep going, the bechamel. How much do we have to put off the, the, um, the potatoes? Take a look, take a look and try to do. Okay. The more important when we are cooking, it's more than the amount of ingredients. It's the way you feel the, the, the recipe. Okay. So what I want to do here, I want to give the potatoes are going to give the structure. It's the crunchiness. The cod and the onions are going to give the flavor and the bechamel are going to give the creaminess. So okay. by mixing everything together and then you have to taste again, you will feel what you need. Okay. I just put the bechamel and then I'm mixing everything. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add all the potatoes. <laughs> and I'm going to add all the bechamel. Oh, it looks nice, huh? It's good? Yeah. Okay, let's try a little bit. Mm. Mm. So good, so good, okay? Let me try, I didn't try mine, yes. Show me, send me yours by Uber Eats or something. 
<laughs> okay. So the codfish is here. Kiko. Show me. Talk to me. Look. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit of parmesan. So more? A little bit of parmesan in the end. Okay. If you have the other cheese that you are using, you can put so. You can also, okay. also put. Elio, Yo. that's for you, my friend. <laughs> nice one. And then just put a little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese and then put it in the oven. Okay. All okay. right. Put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees. So it gets like really crispy on the bottom and yummy in the inside. Okay. Elio. Kiko, Dan, can you can you see this? Show me yours, show me yours. I'm finished, man. I'm proud of this. I'm gonna eat cod fish today. Elio, how many times? 20 minutes? I know you don't drink. I know you only drink milk, but. Cheers. I think we work well. Yeah. And we have to make a toast. And okay. Uh, It was good. good. You know what, what, what I'm going to do uh, before the, the dinner? What? I'm going to train a little bit. I just trained tomorrow, today's, today's morning, one hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I was. It was good? I'm strong. <laughs> it was a, a road training or trail running? I did it in one hour and a half, two kilometers. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, my friend. <laughs> Guys, the ones that start washing us now, I just made a dish with Elio Fumo. I was cooking a cod from my mother. Uh, the way we do it, we cook the cod in water, and then we just chop some onions and cook it in, in olive oil with some garlic. We do the bechamel, and then in the end, we put two egg yolks and a little bit of parmesan, and then we melt everything together with some potatoes. In the end, we put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys can cook, can cook this dish one day, and I hope you all register online in Compressport and you help us to help other people that are in the front lines. Thankfully, we are not on the front, front line, but we are trying to help those that are. Okay, it's nice. I hope everybody um, can do a registration, can maybe win some prize, and we can help some people that are working very hard for more than one month until today. Uh, and for me, it was uh, very nice to, to, to cook with you and uh, learn how to do. I, I, I never had uh, try uh, the bechamel. We're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see the results at the dinner today. It's gonna be crazy. I will. I will tell you. I don't know if Sylvain did the um, the recipe. He said that. Thank you, top friends, Sylvain. Sylvain. <laughs> and you? Did you enjoy Kiko? 
to be with us in Compress Point. Always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. Maybe, maybe next year we can invite you to run with us in UTMB. What do you think? Um, I think uh, even I, if I do all the Mizan Plus first, I will never get in the finish line. <laughs> 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 but you know that you know that in in Utimbe they have like the the child race. They have the the kids race. That's good for me. I'm going for the kids race. No more than ten kilometers. Okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> you can try that, or you can run diagonal the full. Cool, <laughs> guys. Thank you all, Elio. Big hug. Thank you, Kiko. Thank you, Kiko. Silva. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much for joining us, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.